Come on. Come on. Get a big batch here. Come on. Why is another good game on sale right now? Yes. Rivals of Ether. It's half off. It's like yeah. 15 bucks. Bought it. I've had that game for a while. Just had anyone to play it with. Um. I'm kind of taking a break on Destiny. Because I, I don't know. I stopped playing after the initial Witch Queen launch. I kind of just stopped giving a shit. That's how I kind of felt. Like, I was really excited for it, but then once it came out, I was just like, eh, I don't care. Yeah, because they were sitting there going like, oh, this is going to be the biggest expansion ever. It's going to it's gonna completely change the game of Destiny. It's going to completely revolutionize everything, and it was just another fucking mid-expansion. I just... I don't get that. Just make Destiny 3 at this point, and, like, just rework some classes. Hey, I'm back, and I have a container full of the life-giving liquid that is known as water. He survived?! Jesus Christ. Jesus, I call upon your help to murder this man. <laughs> I thought what you are you, fucking, like, Venom from Spider-Man 3? <laughs> Chaos Gate and Demon Hunters is 10% off if you're, uh, if you're like me and you love Grey Knights. What game? Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. Uh, do you have chicken it's horse? Like, it's like fucking XCOM, but with a Warhammer skin, and you play as Grey Knights, which are uh, unequivocally the best faction, don't at me. Alright. <laughs> I'll have to add my, uh, thing. Do you have Ultimate Chicken Horse? Nope. It's, a fun game. Oh, it's, like, it's like seven bucks right now, it's on sale for 50% off. Speaking of video games that I am excited about, Solar, how do you what? feel about Angerfoot? Uh, yeah, I fucking, I already fucking Damn. beat the demo, and I, I fucking enjoyed it thoroughly, because it's like a fucking, it's a pretty good, like, solid adrenaline game. And I love yes, the fucking please. fact that, like, you're, <laughs> I love the fact that, like, different shoes give you different powers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't that, isn't that the, uh, super hot kind of theme game? Yeah, kind of. My favorite one, I think, was the fucking... The Chrono Kicks. Which is just whenever you kick down a door, time slows down so you can just fucking dome people as soon as you open. Chat, this, um, this stream is sponsored by Angerfoot, the, 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 the developers oh, behind that's... the game genital jousting and another game that surprised me so much when i saw the list of developers and they were like from the same people who brought you genital jousting and this and i was like that is a weird combination of developers to i love game that game so ass. much what genital jousting genital jousting is probably the funniest game i've ever played in my life genital jousting is just like lewd to me mm -hmm. it's a lewd game it's barely disguised porn. I think that yeah. says a lot more about you than it does anything else. <laughs> oh, no, I just like stupid shit. You like people sword fighting with dicks? Is that it? I mean, you like people, you like people <laughs> swinging dicks at each other? Huh? I mean, you like, you, you like dicks in your face? Do you like mount your friends? Mount your friends is essentially the same thing, almost. That game is it's so just in a funny. slightly, it's just in a slightly fucking weirder. F well, actually, not really. It's about the same level as weird. The gameplay's fun. It's just like, do you care about peenies swinging around on like 500 miles per hour? 500 mile per hour peenies. Yep. That says it right on the box when you buy it. <sighs> oh 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 oh. oh. I, might get I love how person. the chat the chat is full of dad jokes, and I feel like we've brought this upon ourselves. It's wonderful, isn't it? Hi, Myth. No. Hey, Myth. Hi, Myth. What's going on? Oh, uh, shit, we're shit, watching... shit, 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 shit. Oh, fuck. We're, we're watching. Yeah, never mind the fact that this guy just fucking pulled about 16 G's and his spine hasn't been shot out through his asshole yet. Yeah. <laughs> watching Golden do a zoom. 
Yeah. Not a zoom call, like like a like a like an action zoom, like a vertical zoom. Call. I don't watch him do a zoom call though. <laughs> Has anyone here ever even used Zoom? Nope. Yeah. I used it for like um, twice. Yeah, I used for work related purposes. It's garbage. Yeah. It's yeah, literally I don't know why people are just like, hey, let's use Zoom and not fucking dis you know actually i have a conspiracy theory and the reason is people don't want to use their fucking personal discord for like business meetings and shit so they're just like okay use this sure, completely obviously. different program that nobody's ever fucking heard about so that way there's no chance of fucking cross contamination i mean like that makes sense like i i didn't realize how big discord was getting until like recently because like i was that i was playing a game that got uh released yesterday called disney mirror force our mirror verse and uh it was center trying to uh show all was like hey we have a discord community for all the people here i was like dang i was like i didn't really think disney would uh, not really just not really support discord but more just bring it up i mean discord it's is like the default service. fucking for... yeah it's the yeah. default fucking uh instant messaging service at this point it's like the fucking de facto monopoly I did not you know, need to use that. That was a fucking free. waste. You know, Discord it's, is big when missed. you start like when you start seeing shit like, oh, like sign up for our blood drive. Also, join our Discord group. It's like, what the fuck? What? You must be following I mean, me on Twitter. That's just because Discord's a hell of a lot fucking easier to use in terms of getting like a lot of people in the same place. Because yeah. trying to get a lot of people into like a fucking Skype group is ass. Ass. I mean, for the longest time, I was in a Skype group before Discord was a thing. Not really, I guess not a thing, but before it became, like, established. A lot I was in a fucking hack? lot of different fucking Skype groups before Discord became commonplace. And, like, after the switch to Discord, I almost never looked back. The only time I ever actually looked back was uh, before Discord actually had, like, video sharing and, like, fucking video streaming, that type of shit. And then after it did, it was like, there's literally no reason to go back to Skype at this point. Like, Same. Skype eats more resources. Skype is just, like, yeah. it takes a lot longer to fucking use. It's a, it's a lot harder to get into fucking contact with certain people with it. Like, literally just use Discord because Dude, it does everything that Skype does, but channels. better. Yeah. Yeah, Skype that's probably the fucking biggest channels. thing, right? Because, like, if you had a Skype group and you're just like, oh, well, like, certain people want to talk about this topic, but other people don't want to talk about that topic, so you have to make a whole ass other Skype group for those people so they can talk about that fucking topic. In Discord, you can just have one server and be like, okay, yeah, this topic's here, that topic's there, this topic's here, don't it's talk about this topics. shit here. It's, it's easy. Easy. Whoever, like, started Discord or is a rich rich man apparently it was almost called bonfire before discord came out i don't know i kind of would have liked bonfire more I yeah thinking, but yeah, maybe yeah, that's just bonfire. because i was a fucking hardcore souls player and that was just like yeah gather around the bonfire my children did curse <laughs> come out before discord or after i don't remember i have fucking no idea Cause I know Curse was a big thing for a while, but once Discord started getting bigger, I just I haven't heard from Curse ever. I literally never even knew that Curse existed up until now, so I guess that tells Same. you all you need to know. Yeah. I am a tired lad. I am here by miracle. I am yeah. here by miracle. I'm here conversating with my friends. I'm here talking to the chat on Golden Scream by solely miracle. <laughs> Do what everybody does when they're tired and just start drinking alcohol. <laughs> yeah, it makes life a lot easier to process. Become, casually it's become an alcoholic on the street. On a Saturday. It's not what everyone I does. think I might actually be fucking casually becoming an alcoholic because I've noticed now <laughs> that like alcohol goes down so much easier nowadays, dude. I, thought I used to be like, that. I couldn't drink alcohol at all because like I had like... It, it was just like the taste of it was just fucking god awful. But now I'm just like, dude, fucking whiskey, hell yeah, fucking pour up, let's go. I thought you were gonna I say that. It's been a good these... bit lately. I was gonna I thought you were gonna say like alcohol has been it's easier to go down on like a Saturday or like a late afternoon or some bullshit like that, <laughs> as opposed to drinking it at like fucking like six in the morning or something. 
Oh no, I don't fucking drink it at six in the morning. I'm not a That's fucking psychopath. I, I don't drink until like fucking at least four in the afternoon when like yeah. everybody's pretty much yeah, done with the day. Yeah, those kind of drinks are something you would have like on an evening and like kick back and relax, not in the morning when you have to get ready for work. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So why would you, you fucking, fucking get yourself? That's when you have a why would you get blasted before you go to work? That's stupid. That is, I problem. aspire to be a true alcoholic and get blasted before I go to work. Well, so don't, don't be an alcoholic. Be a, if you want to be, a, if you want to be a, a real alcoholic, what you do is you sneak alcohol into work and then you drink once you're actually there. Don't actually do that, by the way. That's a fucking terrible idea. Yeah, <laughs> my shit. Drunk. For legal reasons, that's a joke. I had I'm a gonna coworker. get drunk on the city bus and annoy all my bus patrons. Dude, yes. Here's something, <laughs> something dumb about my workplace. There's rules in the employee handbook about don't bring alcohol or controlled substances onto the property. Yada yada yada, especially if you're working. Like, don't bring them here at all. And yet, I work with a bunch of old white ladies, so they have to have wine Fridays. Where like the last 30 minutes of work, everyone like tastes some wine if someone brought any. Yeah, that's not gonna cause a problem if you're driving home. Jesus. It's literally one glass, it's not gonna, but... Just the fact that there are rules against bringing alcohol, but not if it's a fine wine I can share with the ladies. Oh my god. I had a, uh, co-worker back in my older store Ooh, that, uh, he would bring back- He would just, like, sneak in a bunch of alcohol every day during his shift and just drink it throughout the day. There was he- was he- was he- did he face ramifications for this? Did he get caught is the question. Oh no. Mm. Well, I, think I was... feel like there has to be more to this story than like, yeah, my, my co-worker used to bring in a well, I mean, like, and... It's not like I knew him by heart, but it's like I had a friend that worked in the same department as him and he you told me heart? about a lot of it. And then there was one day oh. like... Oh! I guess he had a harder drink than he had, but it was very obvious. But the thing about it was my old store just didn't give a shit. By the way, that was a uh, fantastic uh, Pearl Harbor Japanese roleplay. Uh, well what? done. Way to go. Just slam right into the boat, kamikaze style. You <laughs> <laughs> sound like tail spin Re into the water. Japan <laughs> would be proud. Pearl Harbor. Tailspin. Woo. Dun, 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 dun. Retro Gamer Kevin, I hit at the fucking ship. Like at the tower side of it. But no, my last store was freaking wild. Dude, I, me and my, my job, we moved into a new terminal because LaGuardia has been doing construction since the beginning of time. And we're finally starting to, like, finish the construction. So now we, we're in a new terminal now, and it's so big, and Uber Eats doesn't deliver there, and I'm mad about it. What about the end of time? I knew the two of you were going to come in here. Hey, Dusk. Hey, Aeon. Hello. Hey, you two. Hey, Wolf. Did you manage to get to work or stayed on break the whole time? Uh, I, so I, I got to dude, work. Dude, all day break. Just... Oh, no, he died. <laughs> I died at work? What is He's talking to us from the afterlife right now. <laughs> hey, what's he died over there? All day break sounds great. Why do you so think his happened? name's the Blessed Ligma? You don't become blessed <laughs> until you fucking die. It's it's facts. I mean, it's, hey, it's, hey, it's hard to argue Hello. with that, yeah. Anyway, we need we need Wolf to talk. I can only hold this connection to the spirit world for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Summons Aeon Wolf. The, Aeon is the reason why I'm able to like traverse. Summoning them. an internet connection. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf pointing all the spirit world energy with his fingers. I have power. I draw the blessed ligma and lay it face down in defense mode and end my turn. <laughs> I change solemn judgment. The afterlife is pretty great. Just wanted to say that. I, I would imagine so. You don't have to wake up for work or like worry about anything really. Yeah, yeah that's really. great. Don't have to worry about bills or food or getting evicted or any of that shit. Or, or taxes um, or... People like, in the live stream, we are not advocating that you die any sooner than you would otherwise. Exactly. Uh, for <laughs> legal reasons. Anybody for legal would, reasons. Because anybody would take this shit seriously. Um, yeah, people are dumb. Yeah. And so yeah, are you surprised. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that. Someone's asking No, that's, that's what I mean. At an airport. <laughs> 
Wait, someone's asking what? People are impressionable. Uh, someone asked if Wolf lives at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, is, is he like that one dude in France who like was in the Paris airport for like 21 years? I finally saw that. That's crazy. No, Solar, yeah. that was in poor taste. You want, you want to know what else is poor taste? My ass, which you should be licking right now. Fuck oh, off. Damn. I say what I want, <laughs> pussy. Get the fuck out of here. Jesus. Uh, Wolf I'm literally a gamer United stream. This Airlines isn't a place terminal. to come to find morals. Yeah. We have morals? Not, Not that, that we I... talk about on stream. Ah. There we go. I got worried for a second that I'd have to go pick some up at the grocery store or something. Ooh. You pick up morals at the grocery store? This Wait, is Canada. Canada. Yes. <laughs> Which I have chocolate milk when you go? No. Oh. What was that myth? Which aisle are the morals in? Uh, right between um, the international aisle and chips. Is it near where I can find a real life as people I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's- You expect those are all that. Come on, you to come up here. You have to come to my so, house like, for that. <laughs> So, like, does just keep in mind if you're next to the imports, that could be imported as well. It's just going to be takes fifty percent because you live in Canada. <laughs> imported morals. <laughs> imported, <laughs> imported morals. One hundred and fifty ah! US one hundred fifty dollars. One hundred sixty thousand Canadian. Makes it sound like Canadian. fucking like imported spirits. Well, I mean, you guys can pick up basically anything from Walmart. I mean, I hear you guys can like literally like. Hello, I like no, buy, sorry, that was I Costco. Like, you can buy guns and ammo at Walmart, so you yeah, can, you can buy it not at mine. <laughs> you could buy what? like a casket at uh, Costco, apparently. Um, <laughs> I would like to go into Walmart and buy some America. I would like to buy some Americanisms. <laughs> fun fact. All right, yeah, that's uh, that's usually chambered in five five six. So have fun with that. <laughs> you can actually buy a tiny house from Walmart.com. What that sounds like something you wouldn't terrible. be able to buy at Walmart, but still could totally buy at Walmart? Uh, we'd be very surprised through the Walmart.com. I'm. I just want to point out there is a Chinese appliance website that ships to the U.S. too. You can buy discount electronics, but one of the products that they offer and will ship to your house is an electric car. Damn! <laughs> and it's like That'll the cheapest electric car on the planet, and it's like a, a, a small a electric Tesla? Chinese. No, it's a small electric Chinese pickup truck. And it's powered by a washing machine motor, but it's electric, and they use them all over Asia. And you can oh just boy. buy it and have it shipped to your house, and it's like less than a thousand dollars. I can't wait to fucking uh, get my rice burner from Walmart. Right? Yeah. No, for real. Like, even it's not even styled after a fast car, and it still looks too fast compared to what it can actually do. Its top speed is like fifty. <laughs> Aww. If the ground if the ground is if the ground is level, there, there is and you're on pavement. You can it's apparently achieve fifty. Yeah, for real. It sounds like a Formula One clown car. Or, yeah, Formula One yeah. clown car because you're a fucking clown if you spent money on it. The fuck? No, really. You have to make a ninety degree <laughs> turn. You just go tumbling over. <laughs> I'm, I'm scrolling through a list of strange things you can get at Walmart. Some of them are weird, like apparently pickle ice freeze pops. It's like a popsicle, but it's a pickle. Stupid. Yep. There's a couple things that are just so normal. Like they've got slipper socks here. Like those are normal. Why are those weird? It's not um, weird at all. I've no, seen I remember. There's, there's right Golden Girls chia like, pet. That's a little bit you weird. You can buy a Walmart and that showed up. Is that why? And yeah, no, like, you can buy um, Walmart. Here's one of those um, you know, like the painting frames that's just got some kind of written quote in it. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, this one has Mr. T's hair and beard, and it says, I pity the fool who doesn't put the toilet seat down. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, also, Ian, I know, what were you saying? I know at Amazon we have a completely different section for objects or items that are rare, obscure, or not frequently purchased. That's one of so, slippers. Those aren't weird. It? No, but here's and the weird part was we only left it up to two robots that were two. It was, that was the Taser robot that was like it had like five arms and you had to like work inside the robot, so it's like mechanical arteries didn't jam with weird rare products. I remember one of them was a duck harness for pet ducks. Okay, that's adorable though. It that is very adorable. I'm I'm posting one of the other things I found in gaming chat. It's a duck it's, harness it's, for a it's future an dinner. Oh. That is oh, so cool. that, that is cute. Yeah. Strange. Also, oh, tentacles. Aww. Yeah, no, that's cute. 
Yeah. Can okay. confirm tentacles. Tentacles have been confirmed by the blessed. It's like Aztec secret Indian healing clay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's what? a clay secret. Um, I don't together. know. Yeah, that is a whole it's bunch of words. Um, tell me, uh, who were the Aztec Sikh priests who blessed? <laughs> they <laughs> were me. <laughs> it's hello, only like hello, Aztec Hindu. Hindu. <laughs> Aztec secret Indian <laughs> healing clay. It, hearing Aztec secret Indian makes me think of the hidden tiger or crouching tiger hidden dragon. It's like which yeah. are they? Understood. Jokes on you. It's a Mayan temple. Oh Jesus! Oh my God, that, that's funny. If so, no, Aeon, did you see the thing I sent you? Wait, let me see. Boo. Indian healing clay. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Yep. Not As surprised. American uh, you can always, healing clay. I mean, there's always. Go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say with the healing clay stuff. I know that there's the whole India thing, but now everyone just calls it Na Native American, which makes me think this product is probably was probably completely made in China using a translator. Hmm. Probably. Oh, so those sites where they're like uh, the Asian. Misspells are absolutely hysterical. Asian misspells, or it'll be translated correctly, but it will be, like, outdated, you know what I mean? The world's most powerful facial. There's a joke there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that's good for the skin. <laughs> oh, we got a Harrier. Or no, that's on a cob. That's a chopper. We here from America. We need that American here. <laughs>